story this half hour. New data from the Rhode Island Department of Health shows a significant spike in drug overdoses. Yeah, it's causing public health officials to issue a warning to residents, especially those in Providence. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us live with what may be behind the increase and how people can get help. Well, the Rhode Island Department of Health is sounding the alarm after recording 40 non-fatal drug overdoses from July 11th to the 17th, and about half of those occurred right here in the capital city. The spike in Providence prompting the Department of Health to issue a public health advisory. The alert helps activate different resources to respond to the increase in overdose activity, like having recovery coaches and on standby and distributing more naloxone, which reverses an opioid overdose. Dr. James McDonald with the Department of Health believes the uptick may be driven by fentanyl. He says drug dealers are mixing fentanyl into other drugs that they're distributing, making them stronger and much more lethal. If you know someone struggling with opioid addiction, Dr. McDonald says there is help available. Telling someone just not to do drugs is a little bit like telling someone with diabetes, well, just don't be diabetic. It's much harder than that. But if you're a loved one and you know someone who's struggling with opioid disorder, they don't need your judgment. What they do need is a little help getting into treatment. Now we're live this morning outside one of those treatment options known as safe stations. They're located at all 12 of the Providence Fire Departments located throughout the city, and they're designated with a big sign out front that says safe. Here you can come and get connected to treatment 24-7, no questions asked. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.